bosses not even higher level just more challenging enemies Oh, my door. Oh, got it. So, I'm now back in my house, and mobs should start coming. While I'm in here, let's see what I can make. I can make a copper brick or a gray brick. Hmm. Copper bar, iron bar, ooh, copper coin. Hmm. Let's make that. Um, Terraria has a pretty cool arrow retrieval system. Uh, not really similar to Minecraft, but it is cool in its own way. You can, first of all, make flaming arrows. So, I'll show you those. And, uh, yeah, so let's go try these out. Gotta set this my bow. I oh, don't want to make a bow. Crap. Oh well. Now I have two. Oh, let's put the mushrooms in here too. Or where are they? Yep. So my door is open. Going to kill the slime. Two hit kill with a flaming arrow. I like the combat system more in here too, but I was more of a builder in Minecraft anyway. I don't probably want to close my door. <coughs> Another cool thing is that you can have NPCs that will move in with you. And uh, that kind of struck me as cool. Because you can have like merchants that move in, or you can have nurses, or... Uh, <clears throat> there are just a lot of different NPCs that you can add in. Um, I don't know if you can see what I'm talking about. It's a bit dark. I don't know if Fraps is recording this that well, but I can retrieve my arrows if they're a hit. So if my arrows hit something like a mob, then I can go retrieve them. Uh, the flaming arrows become not flaming arrows anymore, but still. I mean, it's a good uh, way of working it out, I guess. Let's see if I can find any more mobs. Oh, flaming arrow. Oh, another thing. There are these falling stars. I'm not sure what you do with them yet, but this guide who I've read through a couple of times, uh, not in this video, obviously, but I've read through what he says a couple of times, and they can apparently do something quite powerful, so I'll keep <laughs> helping the falling stars, fallen stars, I suppose. Here's a zombie.
Ooh, there are a lot over here. It's also a lot easier to acquire food in Terraria. I mean, as you can see, I've been eating the mushrooms and they restore my life. Oop, another zombie. Yep, so, uh, the moral of this video is that you should buy Terraria because it's a fun, not really that Minecraft rip-off-y game. Um, just because you craft items doesn't mean it's a Minecraft ripoff. I mean, it's like saying that, um, Halo Reach or, uh, the Call of Duty games are a ripoff of the Halo games because, uh, you kill people in them. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, so, yeah, you should definitely try out this game. It's only $10, and, uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and hopefully you'll be seeing more videos from me soon. See ya.